I'm Dan Bluefield. I'm at the University of Exeter. Uh, I'm a researcher uh, in um, ecology and human health, uh, but my background is kind of varied. It comes from psychotherapy and client-based work. I'm interested in mental health through that. It's also through ecology and conservation science and developing research partnerships and doing knowledge exchange kind of activities. I had a long career in economic development, so I'm going to the social entrepreneurial activities and getting activity around stuff happening as well as just the pure research. So I put all those together and that's how I came to this, this partnership, uh, this value in nature uh, program, uh, placement scheme. I kind of met all those different interests. My placement is about, um, na about nature prescription activities, so it's about how uh, we can get people suffering from chronic health conditions, particularly depression and anxiety, out of the primary care system and into a natural environment for the benefit of their well-being and their health. And by doing that we need to partner up with the primary care system and the mental health services and charities, um, and it's about find out how local authorities can play a role, actually because local authorities have a lot of parks and land and they have a lot of remit and a lot of interest in this area but so far they haven't been playing much of a role in this debate uh, so they're quite keen to get involved and so I'm trying to facilitate that and work out what they can do to get involved in nature prescription activities. I think the main one, really, is, is uh, launching a commissioning guide at a workshop in London which will invite all the local authorities in England to. So we have heard from some of them that are very interested in, in, in getting a best practice guide on how they, as a local authority, can engage their GPs and their mental health services in their area. On the one hand, and the environmental sector on the other hand, whether they can act as a broker, whether they can do stuff with their parks and gardens, basically how they can commission or get involved in commissioning health services. So we're going to write that guide. We've got a fair amount of it kind of in draft, but we need a lot more detail. Uh, we're going to get that published, done nicely, and launch it in the network and get everyone involved in the country.